Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to the first video of 2023. I'm outside because I just, it's a nice day, so I wanted to just make the intro here. For this video, it's going to be a bit of a mess. My friend's birthday is uh, last week for you guys. And I'm making her a little pen of shrink film and I wanted to take you on a journey. It was incredibly messy, but I think hopefully she'll like it and i thought that while i share the footage with you guys we could talk about my art goals for 2023 there is lucas <laughs> she likes being outside with me and she's very well behaved i hope you had a nice end of the year i took last week off because i've been kind of sick for three weeks now so that's why i kind of look a bit rough but it is what it is it is how things are I'm still trying to take it kind of easy at the beginning of the year, even though I have lots of stuff to do. I hope you enjoyed the first video of the year, and I'll see you in the voiceover. <laughs> Welcome to the voiceover part of the video. I hope you don't mind that the topic of the voiceover and the images don't really match, but uh, I just really wanted to make a goals video, and I did this little project, so I thought why not film it and share it with you guys. So the materials I'm using are shrink film, my artist throw, acrylic pens and some resin at the end and that's pretty much it. It's, it was a very messy process and I lost a few of the clips so if you at least have any questions about the process do let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer those. So let's start talking about my 2023 goals. My biggest goal in terms of my art career and just in life generally it's just try and have a better schedule. I I have I am that type of person that after dinner I'll probably just go and work. I don't really have that separation of free time and work time, especially because I'm currently in a course of a one year course that is from 2 p.m. to 8 a.m. So that takes up a big chunk of my afternoon. So the only times that I have to work for myself are the morning and in the evening. So that hasn't helped either. But I definitely want to try and get a better schedule. Maybe try my best to wake up really, really early, work in the mornings and then have the evening to rest. But I've been feeling quite tired and quite unmotivated since the New Year's. So it's been really difficult to wake up early. <laughs> it kind of sucks that I've been feeling so motivated right in the start of the year but i'm trying my best to try and take it easy not to put much pressure even though i have a bunch of stuff to do i decided to also move my video schedule from tuesday to wednesday to try and give me more time during the week so i can try and have the weekends more time off because we usually i would just film everything on the weekends and just mad dash at it on monday but hopefully in having the videos on Wednesday, I have Monday and Tuesday to work more on the videos. I'm recording this audio on Wednesday morning, pushing it on the first like try, but it's been a rough week. <laughs> I also would love to try and push my style a little bit more this year. I kind of want it to be not as flat and I, I don't know, I just want to embrace colors again. I think I've toned down the colors. A little bit and I want to go back to it because I really miss it just having an explosion of colors in terms of projects I really really want to start doing my big tarot deck if you've been following me for a while you have seen that I have a major arcana tarot deck and that was a project my baby project of 2022 and now I really want to try and do a full like the full arcana plus the other decks like sword, cups, all that good stuff. But I am giving myself like two years because I don't want to rush this. I would really want to make this right. So at least this year, I want to start making sketches, research, all that stuff, doing this project right, even if it takes me two years. I also got a laser printer and a laminator because I really want to start doing gold foil at home. I've been just really enjoying having shiny things in my artwork so i definitely want to start practicing that i have some supplies coming in the mail for that and i just really need to try my best to align the prints that's something i really need to practice on just trying to align them making sure they fit right and that's just something i need to practice and make sure i find any tips and tricks on my own 
because it's something that's not really easy to find out on the internet at least that i know of if you have any know-how or do you know someone that knows how to do it? Do let me know or direct me to any videos that you know. I would really appreciate it. Something quite important that I would like to just do comes to having free time or knowing how to rest, which is having hobbies to myself. Like when I was a kid, drawing was a hobby or anything creative was a hobby. But now everything creative that I do I try, I always do it with like the mentality of I need to either film it or post it and I don't know, it's just been difficult to have downtime. Actually, the past weekend I got myself a Gundam or Gumpla a set to build. I've been kind of interested in them. I don't know a lot about the theory or the sets, but I have been watching a lot of videos on how to assemble them, how to weather them and everything else and that looks so fun so i got myself a kit it was a bit a pricey but i really wanted to try and do it and at first when i got it i was like oh i'll film it and make a video and it'll be nice but then when i sat down and it was time to build it i just thought i wanted this to be something for myself at least this first kit if i find myself which i already am finding myself wanting to get more I can maybe do videos in the future or like share them more if you are interested, if you guys are interested. But this one, I want this to be my resting <laughs> time. And honestly, it's been awesome. It's been really nice to just do something with my hands that I can just put music or a podcast and my brain kind of shuts down and I'm just there and just building it and it's really, really nice. I don't have the proper tools, so it's not the best build ever, but I really want to get a smaller, cheaper one, try my hands to weather it and maybe customize it a little bit. And then when I have more practice, go back to this one. So that's my <laughs> plans for hobbies. I also want to get back to reading more. Since Christmas, I've actually read three books, which for me is awesome. I used to read really fast, but then I barely have any free time, so reading kind of went on the back burner. But I'm really glad to be back to reading, I really love it and it's nice to just have something to escape. <laughs> you can see I don't have a lot of like trying doing this, try this supply. I just have a general idea what I want this year to be and of course I want this year to be some somewhere where I grow and I try new things and I push myself. But mostly I want this year to be the year where I take care of myself. <laughs> Last year was just a mess and I actually went to the doctors at the end of the years. I will have to try to take care of myself because there's only one me, only one life. And even though I love what I've been doing and it's really nice and it's so nice to go to cons and see you guys excited my body shuts down after cons it's been just a year of roller coaster of preparing for a con going to the con getting sick preparing to the con sometimes without recovering so i just really want to try to not have the getting sick part so trying to be best before the cons trying to maintain it and all that Those are pretty much the goals. I already gave this pin to my friend and she liked it, which I'm very happy. Don't forget to do take care of yourself. It's very important. I know it's easy to get caught up in the moment if you're a creative and just work, work, work. Because, it'll, oh, it's easy. You're just doing something that you love, but it's something that takes so much from yourself. Like I feel that each drawing is a piece of me or each project and it's, it's something that really takes something from you. So remember to please take care of yourself. And this is coming from me. <laughs> so if I'm saying to take care of yourself, please do it because I don't do it and I am going to try and do it more. Thank you so much for always being here and for all your lovely comments. You guys are just the nicest I could ever ask for and I cannot say thank you enough. Please leave a like, subscribe and do let me know in the comments what are your goals for this year? What are your expectations? If you do even have any, I I don't really do 
like fixed goal on a list. I just have a general idea of what I want and I just go with it because it works for me and I don't know, I don't want to put too too much pressure on it and just being like feeling like a failure and if I, if I don't get there. So I'm just trying to be kind to myself and also remember to be kind to yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.